Right now, we live in a time where there's more choice than ever before. From what brand of bread you want to get at the grocery store, to what colorful smiley socks you want to buy on the internet. In everything, we're spoiled for choice, and the same is true of wristwatch brands. If you're one of those weirdos like me who's really into wristwatches, we are spoiled for choice. But because we have so many options, you have to do that little bit more to stand out. You have to do that little bit more to make a customer want to spend their money with you. Because why should they spend their hard-earned money with you? They've got a thousand choices. Why should you get my money? And the brand we're talking about today, Monta, is one of those few manufacturers that really stands out to me. And they make watches that stand out particularly among their peers at that same price point. Today we have in the newest Monta Noble, in mint, limited to only 150 pieces. And this went live for pre-orders yesterday in conjunction with the wind-up watch fair. So this is my first time being hands-on with a Noble. I had the Atlas in for review a few months back, which I loved. But everything about the Noble is right up my street as well. I'm a big fan of the go anywhere, do anything style watch. The watch that looks perfectly in its place, casually dressed, but you can also bring it camping. And that's exactly what this watch is. So let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Looking at the specifications, this has a case size of 38.5 millimeters, 9.7 millimeters thick, and a lug to lug of 47 mil. These are the dream proportions, the perfect catch all for most wrist sizes. So here it is on my five and a half inch wrist versus my husband's six and a half inch wrist. I feel like I say this in every video, but once again, this is true. I think this watch looks perfect. It is the perfect size, perfect proportions on my husband's wrist. It probably ultimately looks a little bit better on his wrist than mine, but that shouldn't be a surprise when reviewing a men's wrist watch that it suits a men's wrist better than mine. The case material is stainless steel and it has 150 meters of water resistance. Now flipping this watch around, we have a display case back showing the Monte Caliber M22 automatic movement, which is based on the Solita SW300, giving you 42 hours of power reserve. A tried and true workhorse movement, absolutely no complaints from me. Okay, let's talk about the stuff you can't just read off the website now. The standout statement of this watch is the dial. I had a hard time capturing it because I wanted to make sure you guys could see it in the way that it actually looks. So it's not as blue as the trendy turquoise dials, the Tiffany blue dials of the moment, and it is far more of a true mint green. No sunburst or anything, just a flat mint green dial. This watch feels very fun, but still casual and sporty everyday vibes. I'd personally wear this with jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a jumper. Just that everyday watch that has a little bit of zest, a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of sass. Now there's something that I said in my Monta Atlas video, but it bears repeating here. The amount of build quality that Monta puts into their watches is insane. Especially at the price point, the build quality and the overall feel of this watch really feels comparable to a Tudor, but for half the price. And as a Tudor fangirl, as someone who spends probably too much time around Tudors, these don't feel like leagues away from each other. But this one costs $1,795 and the Tudor Black Bay 39 is more around $4,000. I'd actually be really curious to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of this Monta and the fixed bezel uh, 39 millimeter Black Bay and just see if they felt comparable. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. Monta doesn't miss those little details that elevate the wearing experience. Beveled edges along the lugs, mirror polishing on the hour indices and hands. Something that I always look into right away as well is the bracelet and clasp. I cannot tell you how much a little attention to detail in the bracelet affects the wearing experience. This Noble has a brushed oyster style bracelet with fully articulating links, leading into the clasp which has an on the fly micro adjustment. The fact that there are still watches being made right now without on the fly adjustment is just mind boggling to me. Okay, so moving on to things I don't like. And I feel like I've been racking my brain to find complaints about this watch. 
I always get worried if I'm being too complimentary. People are gonna be like, oh, she's a shill. She's a hack. She's just saying complimentary things. Which isn't true. I'm just not in the habit of putting watches on my channel that I don't like. And you can't be a shill if no one's paying you. <laughs> But I really can't find anything to complain about at this point. Maybe I'll find something else and I can stick it in here. The closest thing I can find to a complaint is that the clasp isn't my favorite, but I can't even quantify why I don't love it. I just think if I'm being hyper nitpicky so people don't think I'm a hack, that's probably what I'd complain about. But it's a great looking watch that feels great on the wrist at a price point I can't argue with. Everything about it is just so reasonable. If you are loving this watch and it's speaking to you, it is limited to 150 pieces. So get yourself over to the Monto website. Get your name on the list. Really enjoyable watch. And speaking of enjoyable watch, if you liked this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Seamless transit. <laughs> Seamless transition. But yeah, do all that YouTube stuff, feed the algorithm gods, make the algorithm gods love me. And um, here's a song to thank my patrons. Thank you, patrons. Ooh, ooh, I'm singing. Sorry to the people who hate me singing, but my patrons don't hate it. And this is for them. Thank you, Pope to your patrons. Thank you, Pope to patrons. You're the best.